Okay, this is an update on um, basically my background and the uh, material I'm reading and my plans for future videos. Now, in some of my other videos, I mentioned I was going to do kidnapping definitions. I'm still going to do that. Uh, I'm going to be doing those on the Jack Crafty Studios channel. On this channel, Allergic Hobbit, I'll be doing mainly uh, video blogs just uh, on my personal flint napping and uh, uh, personal views on my methods. Uh, my background is uh, in education. I, I went to college uh, originally to become an engineer, an architectural engineer. I spent some time at the University of Texas. Uh, I got through four years of a five-year program and I figured out that it wasn't for me. I didn't like it. Uh, I didn't want a number crunch uh, all day. So I ended up getting a degree in drafting. So that's what I've been doing. I'm a drafter by trade. I draw blueprints basically on the computer. Uh, as far as um, my flint napping approach, uh, I started off watching all the YouTube videos I could on flint napping. And there's some flint nappers that I definitely have been influenced by. Number one is Paleo Man Jim. I've watched every one of his videos at least five times. And uh, if you notice in my videos, I tend to copy his mannerism and style when I'm explaining things. Uh, as far as the flint napping goes, my flint napping is different than his. And I try not to cover the same ground that Jim does. Uh, but I will be covering some of that same ground in upcoming videos like the pressure flaking, the uh, making blades from cores and that sort of thing. Uh, and there's other flint nappers I've been influenced by. Uh, Marty Reeder, uh, Mike Dothinger, or Dothiger, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, and his rocker punch approach. Uh, when I first started flint napping, I did mainly pressure and percussion with boppers using copper and antler. Uh, a lot of my work in the beginning was abo, uh, mainly with uh, antler and hammer stones. And after watching uh, Paleo Man Jim and uh, Flint Napping Tips and the Caveman Wannabe videos, I developed the style with uh, the indirect percussion. And mainly out of frustration because I couldn't get the kind of flaking I wanted with the pressure flaking I was doing or with the uh, billets I was using. So I went with the indirect percussion first with the rocker punch setup. And then finally putting the, uh, the tie and the antler tie behind my knee and using a, a horizontal punch. That's what I call a horizontal punch. And I've stuck with that. Uh, since then I've used all kinds of different antler and materials and composite tools and different types of bits for the composite tools to do the indirect percussion. And I settled with copper um, in most of my videos. So I will continue with copper on my Allergic Hobbit stuff, but on the Jack Crafty Studios, I'm going to concentrate mainly with ABO and traditional, or let's say, Aboriginal tools. Uh, Hammerstone and Antler, again, like I was doing in the very beginning, uh, before I started making videos. Uh, I know I'm jumping around quite a bit. Uh, some, some of my other influences on YouTube were uh, Busted Flakes, Ed Bow, Flint Napper Jimmy, Bow Hunter, Charles Eaton, Edward Mosier, Shut Up and Nap, and I've I probably missed a few in there, but I've watched you know hundreds of hours of YouTube videos uh, before I even started napping, and also after I've been napping, and uh, I've tried to stay away from uh, the mainstream type of flint napping and trying to develop my own style. Uh, so if you uh, uh, so if you look back at my videos, you can see I, I concentrate on mainly on indirect percussion, and that's what I do personally. Mainly, I concentrate on that. But I can do other types of flint napping, and I'll, I'll be getting into that later. Um, I also write a column for uh, Primitive Archer Magazine, calling called uh, From the Pit, and I take a lot of my uh, experience. Uh, or a lot of what I write is from 
other people's experiences, not only my own, uh, because of the things I've been watching on YouTube and your feedback. And I appreciate all the feedback you guys have been giving. Um, also, if you don't like a video, please let me know what's not what you don't like about it. You're not going to hurt my feelings or anything. Uh, but I'd like to know if there's something in the video that I got wrong or something that's just, you know, not right uh, as far as the explanation or whatever. Uh, I'll go over some of the uh, books I've been reading, some of my, my main influences as far as books. Uh, number one, of course, is the Overstreet Guide. Uh, I use this practically every day for looking up points. Um, I think I've shown this in a different video here, this uh, lithic debitage. I'll be getting more into this type of uh, study on lithic debitage. I think it's very interesting. I, I also think there's a lot of errors in the current literature. Uh, I bought this one from uh, William Andrewski, or by him, lithics. Uh, macroscopic approach to analysis is turning out to be pretty good. Uh, I'm still working on trying to read this whole thing. I bought uh, this book here, Clovis Revisited. It goes over the recent developments in Clovis research. Uh, this is a kind of an older book, I think, uh, Paleo-Indian Lifeways of the Cody Complex. These two books right here have been my latest uh, influences and have greatly changed my thinking and my flint napping. Uh, of course, I've also shown this book in a previous video, The Galt Site. Excellent book. Um, I'm also getting into reading archaeological journals like this one here, Texas Archaeological Research Laboratory. And uh, one other side book that I've been reading that's influenced my thinking a lot is The 10,000 Year Explosion. So that's basically the background um, for my future videos. I'm going to try, like I said, to do ABO techniques and antler and hammerstone on the Jack Crafty Studios channel. I haven't posted anything on there yet, but I will. Uh, I know I say that, but um, I'll, I'll post videos on there uh, once I get my full ABO tool set or tool kit set. Uh, with the materials that I want. Still working on picking up the materials I want. Uh, but I'll, I'll be posting a lot more here in the near future as far as my Allergic Hobbit uh, vlogs. And um, hopefully we can get I can get back into this uh, video making thing on a regular basis. Alrighty, that's it.